park. I don't think it should be legal. Uh, I think there should be, you know, sort of guidelines and restrictions about this many lesbians gathering in one place. Because my pee hole feels like it is going to explode. <laughs> myself. Uh, except usually I go bird watching, but today I'm gonna go less bird watching. You got your totally curly long hair, rest of it Nike. Then you got a little bit of the, the two of you look like sisters, your girlfriends. Over yonder it's all my hairs on the side and this side doesn't get me. Woman. You're, a, you're a leather woman. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and this is sort of a conclave of leather women here. Yes, I've noticed. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, leather woman, but what kind of material am I wearing? I don't know. Is that leather? Hey, where? Oh, oh. <laughs> This is Bronze. This, this is, is bronze. my boy. That's your boy, Bronze. Yes, my submissive. Your submissive. Yes. You're learning something new today, I am aren't you? I'm learning a lot of new today. That's right. So, you, so this is your submissive, and and so I, I noticed that you're wearing a choker. It's a collar. It's a collar. Oh, they say. When in Jello Shot Park, who is the Jello Shot Parking Instructor? that has marched many, many years. Got I it. leave that to the youngsters. Oh, wow. I have a little bit of a back problem. So you're lazy. I'm not lazy, baby. I'm just taking good care of my health. So I can be around for many, many more years of young leather women to come in and oh. have someone to talk to oh. and learn from. Wow. So. You're like my leather Maya Angelou. Um, okay, I'll accept that. Thank you. <laughs> You don't, you don't. I, I got Liz. I got Liz checking some girl's tushy out. No. No, I didn't. Yes, she was. She was totally checking out her tushy. Oh, no. There's some really weird people in San Francisco. Weird people. Weird, weird people. I guess that was pretty weird, but I just did I get it. Thank you, universe. That is not to be missed. If you can go to San Fran Gay Pride once in your life, it's worth it. Or go to a Gay Pride festival that's near you. You can find out where the nearest one is, gaytravel.about.com. Go there, check out, you know, different festivals around the world, and find one that's near you, and go. And be proud of yourself, you know? <laughs> Because the truth is, like, if you're gay and you're a teenager, you're in your early 20s or 30s or 40s, like, then you know yourself really well. And that's something to be proud of because there are millions of people out there who are in their 40s and 50s and in the Senate 
who don't know themselves <laughs> as well as you do. And I really think that's something to be proud of. You know, I'm proud of myself, and uh, I know Rainey's proud of me. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you, too. Okay, so fine, I get it. Not everybody can go to a pride parade. I totally understand. But you know what you can do? Have a pride party. Have a gay party. Why not? It's fun. Gay people are good at it. Trust me. So here's what Rainey and I came up with yesterday. Hello, gay ice cubes. How are you? Keeping me cool? That's cool, because I didn't start out cool. That is for sure. Oh, God, that feels so good. So this is, a, this is gay ice, and you can put any beverage you want in there. And because it's made with Kool-Aid, you can just put, perhaps, an alcoholic beverage right directly in there, and then have the cubes melt into it. It's and like flavor. a frozen mixer. It's like a frozen mixer. What she said, this yeah. one. We're not trying to say we're Rachel Ray, but maybe we're Rachel Gay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just want to thank everybody for continuing to watch our show while we were on break and making comments and checking out Rainey's blog and my MySpace page. And I just want to say congratulations to the most popular woman on the internet, Rainey Rosenthal. <laughs> you are hot for what she's working with. I think she looks pretty foxy today. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. foxy. I like how you've really just become a piece of meat. <laughs> I think feel about that. You started out as my cool friend for all the substance that you bring to the show. Now you're just eye candy. I think, this, I think, I think all this attention is going to your head. I I think and to your head. I think it's the jello. Is it all the jello? Oh, do you need more? Let's hear it for Raimi! I got to interview Jennifer B.C. from Top Chef Chicago in San Francisco at her kitchen table. And I'm very excited to show you what happened when two completely hungover people tried to communicate in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm at Jennifer Beastie's house from Top Chef! Oh my god! How did that happen? Because I made her. I made her invite me to her kitchen so I could interview her. I met her on Saturday over at Dolores Park, San Francisco Pride. What? What? Let's welcome her to her own kitchen table, Jennifer Beasley!